So we will take a quick 60-second break, come back with the Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement Postgame Stats. That's in 60 seconds on WCCK. B.W. Aiken Electrical Heating and Cooling. Located in Dawson Springs, B.W. Aiken serves all of the surrounding counties. Looking for a whole home generator? B.W. Aiken installs and services those. They also offer maintenance plans on your HVAC systems. Locally owned and operated since 1972, B.W. Aiken offers complete sales, service, and installation of HVAC systems as well as generators, residential, and commercial. Call Chris Hawk, 270-797-2193. For more than 25 years, Herring Construction has been a leading provider of excavation and earth-moving and reshaping services. They want to wish the Lions and Lady Lions good luck in the tournament. Located in Lyon County, Janet and Mike Herring and all the staff at Herring Construction want to congratulate the teams and coaches. That's Herring Construction at 270-388-2657. Lyon County Basketball on WCCK. Your first half stats are being brought to you by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement at 105 West 5th Street in Benton. No two of us are exactly alike. That's why you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on the details that make your life your own, your family, the challenges you face, the dreams that inspire you. Whatever your goals, you need an advisor who can create a plan uniquely tailored to you, all backed by the sophisticated resources of Raymond James. That's life well planned. To learn more, call financial advisors Rich and Casey Hendrickson at 270-906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Again, here at the break of the region, two boys basketball championship. It's Lion 47, Hopkinsville 41. It was Lion 23-22 at the end of one. They outscored Hoptown 24-19 to in the second quarter. Led by 18 points, three threes from Travis Perry, 13 points, five boards from Jackson Shoulders. Nine points from Jack Riddick with a three. Four from Nick Whalen. Three from Brady Shoulders on a three. As you hear the Lions come back on the floor with a roar of the crowd behind me. Hopkinsville, meanwhile, 15 points from Antonio Williams. Averages about nine a game. Hit three threes in that first half. And then Kamarion Smith averages about four or five a game with 13 in that half with three threes. Then four apiece for Kensington Cabinets. That's KC Cabinets and Isaiah Manning. And three for Biddy Brian Johnson. And two for Bubba Level. So, again, much like against Madisonville, Lyon had to withstand the storm early on. It was guys that normally don't put up big numbers that were doing it, much like Ashton Gaines did with 22 in the first half against Lyon two nights ago. They had to deal with the 18 points between Kamarion Smith and Antonio Williams here in the first half, but they withstood. They lead by six. They were three for five at the line. Hoptown was one for two. Rebounding, dead even. Turnover margin, Lyon leads by two with just four steals. Very clean game in that first half. Brought to you by Rob Day at All-American Naturals in Princeton. And natural soap, slip bombs, holiday gifts. Check out their products at allamericannaturals.com. Or call 963-1853. And then three-point shooting Lyon had a total of one, two, three, four, five, six in the first half. And Hopkinsville had one, two, three, four, five, six in the first half. YTG Insurance, an independent and community agent, offering home, auto, life, and health coverage for personal business, even farms. Call Yarbrough, Tabor, and Goodwin, 965-3133. Or stop by 113 West Gum Street in Marion, supporting our three-point shooting. We will come back and have the second half of the Region 2 Boys Basketball Championship in two minutes on WCCK. The Lions are roaring hard as they're moving on through the tournament. Congratulations on a job well done. Bobby Cummins, 1st District Magistrate of Lyon County, is wishing you all the best. It's taken a lot of work, patience, and diligence to get this far, and you deserve the win. Keep showing everyone what Lions are made of. This word of encouragement has been brought to you by Bobby Cummins, 1st District Magistrate of Lyon County, proud supporter of Lyon County's youth. My name is Samuel Lodge with Orbit. I am running for your Lyon County Jailer on May 17, 2022. If elected your Lyon County Jailer, I will be dedicated to the office and position of Lyon County Jail. I will be professional and fair to all who comes in contact with the office of Lyon County Jail. Your vote will be greatly appreciated. Let's go Lions. Paid for by Elijah Thorpe. For more than 30 years, Attorney Lindo Schott has assisted Lyon Countyans with all their legal needs, from criminal defense to personal injury, wills and probate, and estate planning to bankruptcy. If you need an attorney, make Lindo Schott the first one you call. Located at 211 Main Street in Eddyville, Lindo Schott is proud to support coverage of the Lions and Lady Lions on K95.7 WCCK. Call Lindo Schott if you need an attorney, 270-388-7717, 388-7717.
Everybody says they have the best barbecue, but actions don't lie. If folks will drive from three counties away to come to the joint barbecue, then there's a reason. Not just for the barbecued pork, but smoked chicken, sliced brisket, baby back ribs, just to name a few. The joint also has salads, sandwiches, burgers, and appetizers. And the meal's not complete without some hand-dipped ice cream. So if you see folks walking slowly out of the joint barbecue, rubbing their belly, now you know why. The Joint Barbecue. 30 Outlet Avenue in Eddyville. Your home for Lyon County Basketball. K95.7 WCCK. Time to start the second half here in Hoptown and 16 minutes from deciding a Region 2 Boys Basketball Champion. It'll be the Hopkinsville Tigers or our Lyon County Lions. We will have to wait and see. Lyon leads 47 41 to start this second half and we'll have the ball coming left to right. Hoptown will move right to left. Brady Shoulders will inbound it at midcourt. Redick awaiting it in backcourt. And we are ready to go. The horn blows. Mr. Lovett will hand it off to Mr. Shoulders. And inbound will come to Jack Redick. He'll be met by Bubba Level at the midcourt stripe. Gets it in the front court around the right side of level. Flip pass back to Perry. 25 foot straight away. Three to start is halfway down and popped out. Rebound. Whalen tipped it but couldn't control it. And Hoptown comes down with it. Level has it. He'll drive, kick to Williams, drives the paint, lays it up and in. Quick bucket by Williams. He has 17, and just like that, it's back to four. 47-43 line, seven and a half minutes to play here in the third. Reddick trying to shake off Bubba Level. Saves it to Perry on the wing, spins by one defender, fades away from 10, overshot it, rebound. Whalen has it, trying to go back up. He is blocked. Somehow Perry digs out that rebound amongst three defenders in the paint and saves it out to Reddick on the wing. Now to Brady Shoulders right corner against Williams. He'll drive. Fade away from five. It's good. Brady Shoulders answers. 49-43 line. 7-10 here in the third. Deshaun Mercer across the timeline being met by Perry and Brady Shoulders right side. Now they'll flip left wing. Open three on the way is no good. Rebound tipped and controlled by Brady Shoulders. Saves it. From Bubba Level, kicks it right wing, three, Jack Reddick is no good, rebound Perry, left side rebound put up and he's fouled. And three was missed by Kamarion Smith. Foul is on Deshaun Mercer, his second. Perry to the line for two free throws here, brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty, call 601-1793. Front end is up and good, he'll get one more. Pushes the lead to seven. 81% free throw shooter on the year. Looking for his 20th point of the game, and he has it. 51-43, Lions, 6.50 left in the third quarter. Long, long way to go. Deshaun Mercer will bring it across the timeline here. Coming right to left. Finds level on the wing with Reddick on him. Bounce feed left corner. Manning inside. Knocked away by Brady's shoulders. He lost the dribble, but Reddick trails the play. Reddick bounce feed. Perry, 25-foot three right side is short. Rebound controlled by Hopton. That would have brought the house down. Ahead it comes to Manning, finds Cabanis, lays it up over Whalen and then just can't seemingly get that big blow. 51-45, Lyon County. Reddick into front court with it. He'll drive against pressure, feed to Jackson's shoulders, have it knocked away from behind. Out of bounds, will stay with Lyon County off of Antonio Williams. Elijah on White in for Isaiah Manning. Lion ball beneath their own basket, leading 51-45. Reddick will inbound it to Jackson's shoulders left corner. Inside cut Perry, double teamed, and it's hit hard. Let's see which one they get. Mercer and Williams went over the back. That's Deshaun Mercer in his third. So Perry will go to the line for two more free throws here, trying to get it back to an eight-point lead. Mercer will have to come out with those three fouls. Free throw here by Perry is good. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty. Call 601-1793. So the Brian Johnson, as we said, checks in. He had three points in the first half. Perry will go back to the line here for his fifth free throw attempt of the night. Perry. That's a fly. That's good. 53-45 line. 6-10 left here in the third quarter. Hopkinsville with it to Brian Johnson across the timeline. To bubble level on the wing. Inside cut to White. Comes right corner three. Williams again. This time off the mark. Whalen has it. The Lyon County saves it ahead to Reddick. 
He'll bring it across the timeline on the corner to Brady's shoulders. Open three. It's short. Rebound Perry. Trying to tip it. Saved it to shoulders. Nope. Now Perry lost it. Ball still free on the ground. Tipped away by Reddick as Hopkins will have stolen it. Reddick kicks back to Perry. Perry rolls it out to the top of the key. Drives against pressure. And finger rolls it up and in. What a job by Jack Reddick to save the possession. To Travis Perry and Lyon by 10. Timeout, Hopkinsville. We're back in 30 seconds on WCCK. What an exciting time to be a Lyon Countyan. Our student athletes are incredible, and we are so proud of them. Go Lions and Lady Lions. I am Jenny Frank, and I am candidate for Lyon County Judge Executive. Like our students, our county has bright days ahead. As Lyon County Judge Executive, I will prioritize building a county that the next generation will be proud of, full of opportunity and potential. It would be my honor to serve you as the next Lyon County Judge Executive, and I humbly ask for your vote, Jenny Frank, Judge Executive, on May 17th, 2022. Paid for by Jenny for Judge. Out of the timeout, that is the third taken by Hoptown. Hoptown with the ball, but Lyon leading by 10, 55 to 45 with 540 to play third quarter. Great defensive stop by Brady Shoulders and Jack Reddick. Brady to get the pick. Jack to save the possession to Travis Perry, who laid it up and in to push this lead to 10, the first double-figure lead for either side tonight. And it's been a barn burner so far. Line has taken every punch from Hoptown and has responded, and Hoptown much, very much likewise. Hopkinsville will have it come in the length of the floor, as that's what they took the timeout after the make by Travis Perry. They do have the possession arrow. Two fouls so far this half on Hoptown, none so far on line. Inbound to Bubba or to Brian Johnson in backcourt. He'll get it across the line to Bubba level on the left wing. Thought about a pull-up three, but Reddick cuts it off. Top of the key back to Johnson. Back to level. Waylon in front, but he gets around Waylon. Steps in from 10, and it rattles home. Back to an eight-point lead. 55-47 line. 5.20 to play third quarter. Reddick gets it across the timeline. Gets a screen set by Jackson. Shoulders. Flips two shoulders. He finds a seam. Down the lane. Lays it up and in off of on Why do came back to help? On defense, DeBrian Johnson gets in the front court quickly and throws it away, trying to feed it. Oh, oh they're going to say it was tipped by Reddick. So, Lyon upset with the call, and it was right in front of us. No doubt Reddick tipped it, but Reddick was saying that Level tipped it back in. So, you got to get over it and move on to the next play. 57-47. Five minutes to play, third quarter. Comes off right corner. To Johnson, he'll drive the paint, slipped and fell, and that's a foul, a trip, I believe, on Hopkinsville. Now they're going to say a trip on Travis Perry threw his leg out. I, again, didn't see that. Now that was not a part of the actual player that had the ball, which was the Brian Johnson. He got rid of it then, was tripped. So Perry's first. We'll try it again. Johnson will inbound it, left wide open, three in the corner. Still no good. Rebound, though, is Reddick trying to rip it away. Ties up Williams after the three attempt by Olajuwon White. Arrow does favor, as we mentioned just a moment ago, Hopkinsville. So again, Hoptown with another shot beneath their own basket. 57-47 line, 4.53 to play third quarter. DeBrian Johnson will flip it into the top of the key to level. Drives against Perry. Out over Wayland. Lays it up no good. And then over the back is Bubba Level on the rebound that time as he went over Brady's shoulders. So that's his first, team's third. Reddick will inbound it in backcourt to Perry. Line by 10, slows it up just a bit here. He sees the defender at half court. That's DeBrian Johnson ready to meet him as Hoptown stays in a half court man-to-man. Kick feed right corner to Reddick. Inside to Jackson, shoulders cut off by White on the elbow. Cut off again as he looks to drive. Inside feed to Perry, back in his way and against DeBrian Johnson. Fade away, 10-foot runner, no good. Left side rebound, Brady's shoulders. Is going to be tied up. Yep, that is a jump ball. That one I'll agree more with. That was definitely tied up. Now, yes, you might have saw body beneath the basket, but either way, Arrow favors Lyon County. And they'll have another shot beneath their own basket. Floating pass to the elbow. Jackson shoulders. Kicks it to Reddick. Open. Left corner three. In and out. Rebound tipped. And still free. Perry has it. Goes back up from two feet out and lays it up and in. That's just a man to wrestle it away from KC Cabinus. 59-47 line, 4-10 to play here in the third. Olajuwon White feeds down low. Reverse layup is good for Antonio Williams. 10-point lead again, 59-49 line. Four minutes left, third quarter. Reddick will bring it across the timeline. Finds Perry at the top of the circle with Johnson all over him. Shakes off him, comes back to the half-court stripe to reset things. 
Pulls it out to the right side of the floor now with 3.48 on the clock here in the third. Johnson puts on the five-second count. Perry just trying to bounce off of him down the elbow, and that's going to be a foul because he grabbed the leg after he slipped to Brian Johnson there. That'll be his first in the team sport. And they're going to say it was in the act, so Perry will get two free throws. Free throws here brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty. Call 601-1793. And again, have to wipe up the sweat. Elijah White with the old beach towel out there. 3.42 again on the clock here in the third. Lion leading 59-49. Perry to the line for two. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty. Call 601-1793. Misses the first. First, he's missed all night. He was five for five. He'll get one more. Trying to push this back to 11. Deshaun Mercer will come in with those three fouls. And place Bubba Level. Free throw here for Travis Perry. It's good. 60 to 49, Lyon County. 340 left here, third quarter. Mercer will get it across the timeline. Feed it left corner to Johnson. Top side, Mercer. Perry out on him. Lining a man-to-man in the half court. Now Mercer drives. Fades away from five. It's short. Rebound. Tipped and saved in. Olajuwon White somehow saved it to Mercer. At the free throw line, he kicks it left corner to Johnson for a three. Off the mark. Rebound was shoulders, and he has it knocked away from behind by Olajuwon. So it'll stay with Lyon. 3.23 to play. Third leading by 11. 60 to 49. Perry will run the point. He'll make Reddick the off guard to his left. He'll drive down the near sideline to the right. Get a screen from Jackson. Gets around Elijah White. Fade away. Ten-foot runner. Mid-range jumper. Halfway down. Popped out. That was a good-looking shot. And Elijah White with a rebound for Poptown. Outlet to Johnson. Almost walking it in the corner. Saves to Williams. Williams now drives the paint. Pulls up from 10. It's good. Back to a nine-point game. 60-51 line. 2.53 to play here in the third. Reddick will get it into front court. Spin away from DeBrian Johnson. Needs some help now as he works it out to midcourt. Johnson all over him. Gets around the right of him. Kicks it to the corner. Jackson shoulders drives against Elajuan White. Flips top side. Brady shoulders. Top of the key. Three is no good. Rebound. And it's going to be a foul on Travis Perry. Trying to reach in to take it away from Mercer. Second on Perry. First to pick up two for Lyon tonight. And every time Lyon kind of gets to nine, ten to push it out a little bit more. Hoptown gets that big bucket as Gunnar Bingham will come back in for Nick Whalem. 2.37 left here in the third. Again, a nine-point lead for Lyon, 60-51. to Deshaun Mercer will bring it across the timeline here. Throw it out left corner. Taken there by DeBrian Johnson. Johnson kicks it top side to Mercer. Now right side, Williams. Williams. Floats it to the corner to Manning. Bobbled a bit, but saved to Williams for a corner three. That is no good. Rebound, Jackson shoulders, rips it down. Gives it to Perry in line right now. Just looking to get a bucket to get it back to double figures. Both these teams exhausted. There's no way around it. Mercer out top on Perry. Starts the count. Pass comes right side to Reddick. Reddick with Johnson over him. And that's almost a foul and over the back. Now they're going to stay out of bounds on Perry, and that's a tough break because, again, Perry was all covered up. By Deshaun Mercer, could have easily been the fourth foul on Mercer. And Perry did step out of bounds. Tough break for the Lions, but again, have to play through it. Uptown ball. Mercer has it at the top of the key. Lion leading by nine, still a minute 50 to play here in the third. Top of the key, Mercer. Thought about a pull-up three inside feed. Elijah White almost walked with it. Gets down the lane and lays it up and out. It comes out to Brady's shoulders. Brady shoulders trying to shake off Elijah White. You can hear the line crowd wanting to foul on White. Perry says, hey, we got it. Takes the ball across the timeline. Mercer out on him. Shovel pass comes to Brady shoulders at the top of the key. They'll weave it around between themselves and Jack Reddick. And Travis Perry, as we said, Reddick has it at the top of the circle. Works against Smith. Drives the paint, kick out to Perry. He finds a seam down the lane, kicks back to Brady Shoulders. He does get a seam down the lane, lay it up, and in. 62-51 line, minute 13 to play third quarter. Mercer has it between the circles. Kicks it right corner to Williams. Williams driving the baseline in, and he is fouled on a reach in. That's the second on Brady Shoulders. Teams third of the half. And really, it was a bailout foul there because had they not called it, it looked like Williams was about to walk with it. Yeah. 
It'll be Hopkinsville ball beneath their own basket. Mercer bounce feed into the right corner. Now top side. Knocked away by Perry, but he couldn't take it all the way away from level. Saved to Mercer in the corner. Drives, pulls up from 10. Overshot it. Rebound White. Saves it to Williams. Williams is fouled going up, and that'll be three on Brady's shoulders most likely. And it is. So that's the first to pick up three for Lyon. Two shots here for Antonio Williams. And while he leads the team in scoring, you have to go to the line tonight. These will be his first two free throws here. First one is up and good. Puts the game back to a 10-point affair. 62-52 line. Still 54 seconds on the clock here in the third quarter. Missed the second. Perry with a rebound. Lyon will slow it up and bring it across the timeline here. Fired off to Reddick far sideline. Rolls it out to the top of the circle in no hurry here with Kamarion Smith on him. Shovel pass back to Perry on the far sideline. Draws that double team. Now works one-on-one with Kamarion Smith. Breaks the feed. Breaks that five-second count and shovels it back out far sideline to Reddick with 30 seconds left in the third. Reddick trying to get away from Kamarion Smith. Gets down the lane. Layup off the glasses. Bouncing no good. Rebound Olajuwon White. Tipped away from him but saved. And then a foul on Perry on a reach in. And that one is tough to take. That's three on Travis Perry now. Twenty seconds still left in the third. Lion fans getting very tense with the calls here in the third quarter. Optown will have it, bringing it right to left. Mercer will get it across the timeline. And he's ready just to hold it for one shot. Ten seconds left. Inside to Elijah White. Finger roll off the glass and in. Six seconds left to Perry. Perry will get it across the timeline with three, two, three at the buzzer is blocked. And it's an eight-point game as we go to the fourth. 62-54 line back in one minute on WCCK. For your residential and commercial glass needs, call Regional Doors and Glass in Eddyville and speak with Glassman Mike or Rudy. They specialize in everything glass, plus more. New windows, replacement windows, custom shower enclosures, aluminum and fabric awnings, and screen and storm door repair. Give them a call today at 270-388-5745. That's Regional Glass and Doors in Eddyville, where they want to be the pain in your glass. Hi, this is State Representative Chris Freeland, and like you, I'm looking forward to another exciting season of Lyon County basketball. And whether you're attending games in person or listening to this broadcast, it shows your support for the players, coaches, and the school. I also want to say how honored and thankful I am for the privilege to serve your family and all the people of Lyon County as State Representative. Thank you again, and let's go Lions and Lady Lions. Start of the fourth quarter, eight minutes left to decide a region champion. It's been a tight one all night. It's Lyon 62, Hoptown 54, but Hoptown in the midst of a 4-0 spurt here in Lyon. And three fouls apiece now on Brady's shoulders and Travis Perry. And down in backcourt to Mercer. He'll bring it across the timeline, coming right to left. Lyon in a 2-1-2 in the half court. Lyon fans on their feet trying to shake up the Hoptown offense here. Will it work? Bland defense looking to do that as well. Comes to Williams in the corner. Top side Mercer. Left wing to Smith. Top side again Mercer. Reddick out on him. Mercer looks to drive against Trent Pressure. Layup off the glass and no good. Rebound Brady's shoulders. Outlet feed to Perry. Perry runs down into front court. Drive around Cabinets. Gets on the baseline. Wrap around feed. Rolls to Reddick. Fakes the three. Then puts up the three. Yes! YTG3. Jack Reddick on a rolling pass assist. 65-54, Lions, 7-15 left in the game. Hoptown with it on the right side. It's Williams. Bingham all over him. Taken away by Brady. Shoulders with a pass inside. Ahead to Perry. It comes in front court. Stop. Hop. 25-foot three. You got it. Oh, baby. YTG3. Travis Perry. Timeout. Lyon County. 68-54. Back in 30 seconds on WCCK. Lake Land Funeral Home of Eddyville wishes the Lions and Lady Lions good luck on this basketball season. We are proud to be part of the Lyon County community while serving local families during their most difficult days. We will never take your trust in us for granted. 
because we know what you're trusting us with. Best wishes for a wonderful season from the family and staff of Lakeland Funeral Home. Out of the timeout, good to see Brian Edwards from Kentucky New Air over here. He's like, whatever you do, don't flip that table over, buddy. Tell you what, if this boy's can purple and gold can hold on, it's a long way to go. 7 4 to play, but if they can, it's going to get right here tonight. 68-54, Lyon back-to-back threes from Jack Rick and Travis Perry. But the defense cannot turn down the dial one, but it's going to be an 11 on a 10-meter. 68-54, Lyon with the lead. Seven minutes is all that's left as Mercer will bring it across the timeline. Slows up between the circles, lining into that 2-1-2 in the half court. Topside Mercer, inside feed, White kicks it right corner, Williams drives away from Bingham to the top of the key, he comes with it. Now down the lane, step pass in the lane, knocked away by Bingham, stolen by Lyon County. Bingham gets it in the front court, he'll slow up at the top of the circle, feed it back to Brady's shoulders and they'll reset the offense here, Lyon in no hurry. Brady's shoulders dribbles through two defenders between the circles, Cabinus the nearest one to him, he'll bring the five second count on at the top of the circle. Brady breaks it as he moves to the left. Now back to the right. Now to the left around Cabinets. Down the lane. To the rim. Laid up. No good. Rebound. Tipped and controlled by Elijah White. For hot talent and stripped away by Brady Shores and laid up in. White thought he was home free and Brady Shores with three fouls. Never stopped playing defense. 70-54 Lions. 6 9 to play. Mercer kicks it left wing to Williams. Inside feed White. And a foul on the floor on Lyon County on a reach-in. Let's see who it's against. It's on Jackson's shoulders, but that's just his first of the night. And it stops what probably would have been a layup for Elijah White. It's the team's sixth, though. Bonus the rest of the way for Hoptown. 6.04 to play. Lyon by 16. 70-54. It'll be Mercer to inbound it beneath the bucket. Kicked. And save. It was off the knee. It was not off the foot. Shoulders knocks it away, and Winnick with a steal, trying to get away from Mercer. Trying to break the five-second count. He does. Shovels it to Perry. Down the right of the lane. Hook shot off the glass, and in. Travis Perry assists to Jack Reddick. 72-54 Lions. 10-0 run in the last minute. 5.43 to play in the game. Mercer feeds it into White. He's all covered up. He needs help. Kicks it right corner. Manning has it. He'll drive. Fade away from five and good. 72-56 Lion. Five and a half minutes to play. Perry will get it into front court for the Lions. Bounce feed right sideline. Comes to Brady. Shoulders then far sideline to Jack Reddick. Immediate line on him is Bubba Level. Breaks the count. Shovels it over to Perry on the right wing. And now bounce feed back to shoulders far sideline. Five minutes and ten seconds left. Shoulders all covered up by Cabotis, but no call on the hand checks. Top of the key, Perry trying to shake off. Deshaun Mercer. Mercer with a hip check there, but no call. It would have been his fourth. Save to Brady's shoulders far sideline. Pulls it back out that way. They're not calling the cheap stuff. You might as well forget it. Wrap around feed to Reddick, and there is a foul. That was a clear reaching. Cabot is trying to get the steal. His second, but it's a foul to give. It's the team's fifth. They can give one more. And we're a long way from icing with free throws. There's still 454 to play, but Lyon again leading by 16, 72, 56. Inbound deep in backcourt. Perry will run it down and run some clock with Deshaun Mercer on him. Brings it across the timeline here to the top of the circle. Dribbles off his foot, but still cuts through two defenders. Gets down the left of the lane and goes all the way across the lane. And just kind of a little dipsy do move there with good ball handling. Back out of the top of the circle with Cabinus on him. Double team now. Flip pass comes to Reddick left wing. He'll drive across the paint. Feed back to Perry at the top of the circle. Down to four and a half minutes left. Top of the circle, Reddick. Lyon making Hoptown come out and defend, and there's a reach-in foul on Kamarion Smith. That's the last that Hoptown could give. Now each side with 16 fouls. 4.25 left in the game. We'll see the most likely inbound it near midcourt. Travis Perry will come towards the midcourt stripe, and I believe a timeout is called. Yes, it is. And we're back in 30 seconds on WCCK. A good luck wish to the Lions and Lady Lions this season from everyone at Bingham Drilling in Eddyville. And a special good luck wish to Gunnar Bingham and the Lions basketball team. Since 1963, Bingham Drilling has been proud to call Lyon County home. They're located on Highway 3305 South in Eddyville. 270-388-7003 is their phone number. Go Lions and Lady Lions from everyone at Bingham Drilling in Eddyville. 
That's the fourth timeout taken by Hoptown. They got one left brought to you by the Sluggable Connection on Newman Drive and Eddieville. Your Verizon Wireless Theater call 963-8246. Ryan is led by as many as 18. They had to cut back to eight here in the fourth. Start the game, or start the quarter for that matter. And Hoptown had the ball in line, just cranked it up defensively, forcing back-to-back turnovers that led to back-to-back threes from Travis Perry and Jack Reddick. Lion has led by as many as 18. They lead by 16 currently with the ball, but still a long way to go. This old boy here ain't calling victory till I see triple zeros hit that clock here tonight. It's 72-56 Lions, still 425 to play in this game. We're live on 95.7 FM and MarshallCountyDaily.com at that link. That's the only two places you're hearing us right now. I will upload the podcast later tonight. I hope it's really late <laughs> so you can listen to it again because that means we got a winner. You know, we got a long way to go. Gunner Bingham will look to inbound it in backcourt here, and it will come to Brady's shoulders. He'll pull it all the way to the baseline and then run it up across half court and draw a double team from Cabinus and Level. To Reddick, and it's knocked away. Stolen by Mercer. Baseline feed Cabinus laid up and in, and like we said, a long way to go here. It's a 4 0 spurt now by Hoptown. 72 58 line. Perry gets by one defender, gets by another, dribbles into front court and spins away from traffic. Now gets down the lane, goes up against the defender, laid it up, missed it. Rebound, Elijah Juan White, then ripped away by Perry again. Wrap around feed, Jackson, shoulders missed it. Tipped to Brady, shoulders, and Elijah Juan White takes it back. Long outlet feed, saved by Deshaun Mercer in the corner left side. Out to an open three left corner. It's no good, rebound tipped, and Cabanis has it. They call a reach-in foul on Brady's shoulders. And that's the fourth on Brady. I don't believe it was in the act. I believe it is one and one here. Now they're going to say a two-shot foul for Kensington Cabinets. So they will say it was on a putback. Cabinets free throw here is bouncing. No good. And we'll get one more. Nick Whalen will come in for Gunnar Bingham. One more free throw here for Cabinets. Each team in the single bonus right now. Cabinets, his second free throw here. Also no good. Rebound Nick Whalen, who just came in. Gets it ahead to Reddick. Trying to get around Cabinets and level. And they're going to say out of bounds off Reddick. And again, that's a lot of pressure getting put on him to have no foul call, but still lose the ball out, out of bounds. And back to Hopkinsville with 3.36 to play. Line got to crank down here. Bounce feed right side. Comes to Mercer, almost knocked away but saved. And then Mercer puts up a three that's no good. Rebound Brady. Shoulders and Lyons got to hold on to the ball right here. Who better than Travis Perry? One-on-one against Cabinets in backcourt. Gets in the front court against four defenders at one point and spins away from all of them. And there's a reach-in foul. Thank you very much, Deshaun Mercer, with a reach-in. His fourth, one-and-one here for Travis. And again, it's getting close to crunch time on free throws. This is still one in the bonus coming. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty. Call 601 1793. Travis Perry's front end is up and good. He'll get one more. And so everybody already get back. Make or miss. Get back defensively. 73 58 line. Still 319 left in this game. Hit some move. 74 58 line. 318 to play. And the ball's picked up at midcourt by Mercer. Ahead. Level thought about a three. Now drives. Pulls up from 18. It's short. Rebound. Perry takes it down for Lyon County. Perry trying to shake off Cabinets. And there's a reach-in foul on Level. Perry will go to the line for one of the bonus again. Eighth team foul. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams. Williams comes back in. He'll replace Level. Perry will inbound it. Or Perry will hit the free throw here. The first one on the front end of the one and one is good. And you can tell Hoptown just knows it's going in. They're not even looking to rebound. They're like, yeah, it's going in. It's brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams. Another free throw here to get it back to 18 where it was a moment ago. And he does. 10 for 11 is Travis at the line tonight. Ryan looking for a couple of more key stops here. 2-1-2 two two zone again in the half court. Ball comes inside. Cabinets finds freedom, and he lays it up and in, and they're going to call a foul on Shoulders, and that's late. Shoulders should have just let that one go. You never want to stop defending, but that's just you're already beat there, and now you give him a chance at a freebie, and you pick up a foul. Cabinets of the line for the and one. 
That's one of those I understand you want to keep hustling, but you're well beat on that play. He's got a wide open layup, and you don't want to give him the and one. Free throw is good. 15-point game again, 76-61 line. Three minutes left. Whalen needs up getting it in. Timeout, Lyon County. We're back in 30 seconds on WCCK. The Goodwin Insurance Agency in Eddyville is a proud supporter of Lyon County basketball and wants to wish the team's success in the postseason. Goodwin Insurance Agency, your locally owned independent insurance agency, provides all types of insurance from auto, home, business, life, and more. Stop by the office located next to Farmers Bank for a quote or give them a call at 270-601-5001. Congratulations and best wishes, Lions and Lady Lions, from Goodwin Insurance in Eddyville. Out of the timeout, brought to you by the signal connection on Newman Drive in Eddyville. Your Verizon Wireless Theater call 9638246. Lion trying to close out the biggest three minutes in the history of this basketball program as they lead 76 to 61. 301 to play in the Region 2 Boys Basketball Championship game. Looking for their first title in seven decades in a year. 1951, the one and only time. It's been a heartbreak of four times since, and they've been a long way apart. Inbound to Jackson, shoulders in backcourt, immediately double team. Comes back to Brady, shoulders flipped ahead to Whalen. Whalen goes cross court, Jackson, shoulders top of the key. Now to Reddick, he'll pull it out to midcourt. Now to Perry, far sideline. Double teamed, and he's fouled. This is still one and one for Travis Perry with 2.49 to play in the game. This is the ninth team foul. That's on Olajuwon White, his second. Perry is taking the most free throws by a wide margin of anybody tonight on either team. But he has earned them. He's earned those stripes. Free throw here is good. He's hit three consecutive front ends of one and ones, and he's hit six in a row after his last miss. 77-61, Lyon. 78-61, 78-61, Lyon. Perry hits them both. 2.49 to play. Ball will be rolled in, picked up near half court by Deshaun Mercer. Gets it ahead to Williams, back to Mercer between the circles. Comes far sideline, quick three on the way, a short rebound though. White has it knocked away by Perry. Perry will race it the other direction against Mercer. Lay it up, no good, but a foul. And Mercer has just fouled out of this game. That's five on Deshaun Mercer. So he has completed his night. So their star point guard, who did not score tonight, was well defensive and great facilitator, has just fouled out of this game with 2.38 to play. Lucky for them, he's a junior, and he's got another year left. Now it's two free throws for Perry. Doesn't have the pressure of the front end. He doesn't care. He thrives on pressure. He hits the front end, and he'll get one more. 79-61 line, down to 2.38 to play. Hits them both, 80-61 line. Ball again will be rolled in, and this time to Brian Johnson will have to take over. He'll run the point, float it right corner. Comes there to Smith, pull up, jumper on the baseline is good. I believe that's a two. Yep. Ryan will get it inbounded to Perry. Down court feed to Whalen. Goes against Olajuwon White, lays it up and missed it. And a rebound to... Hoptown, not the quick one and done unit for Lyon County State, but a steal by Brady. So this is he picks it off in backcourt. Reddick as a man, floats it up, doesn't matter. Over and in, Jack Reddick, 82-63, and then Reddick hits the ground hard. And you hope he's all right. And that's the last thing you want to see is Reddick going down hard on the leg here with Lyon leading 82-63. to Maybe it's just a cramp. That's all we can hope for. Doc Wilder is out there, and she's treating it as if it was a cramp. She's pushing that foot forward, trying to work it out. That's what you just hope it is. And that's if that's it, it's okay. Get the boys some liquid. I need some liquid hydration for that matter, and and he'll be okay. And that's again, we can't speculate, but that's how they're treating it right now. So we'll take a thirty second break. Be right back on WCCK. Good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions from the Lyon County Backboard Club. Here's wishing the teams good luck throughout the season. Everyone at the Lyon County Backboard Club is proud of all the accomplishments of the Lions and Lady Lions both on and off the court. Good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions basketball teams from the Lyon County Backboard Club. That's the Lyon County Backboard Club, a proud sponsor of this coverage on WCCK Radio. Again... Jack Reddick trying to get up from that cramp. 
And he's just throwing right now. He may just need to be picked up. If it is a cramp, Keith Matchin, who knows this four well, he'll say, I'll pick you up, and I'll carry you off the floor if I have to. You got Zach Thomas, the AD, and there we go. They're just not going to put any weight on that leg. Again, treated him as if it was a cramp, trying to walk it off, and he'll get a big round of applause. And what a night for Jack Rennick. 14 points for him. So Rennick will go sit on the bench and try to work out, hopefully, when it's just a cramp. They're not going to spend, but that's how Doc Wilder was treating it, and they're giving him water and Gatorade, so you would assume that's the case. But to reset things for you, it's Lyon County leading 82-63, still 2.09 to play in this game. But it is the Region 2 boys basketball finals at Hoptown against the host Tigers. Hopkinsville with the ball, but Lyon again leading by 19. Inbound will come to DeBrian Johnson. They'll roll it all the way up to midcourt before Johnson has to pick it up. Stops into a three immediately. Missed it. Rebound Perry. Perry will just pull it out. Force him to foul if need be or trying to draw a steal. He's just dribbling around traffic, and there's the foul. The foul was on Antonio Williams. He's had a heck of a night. Antonio, a sophomore. He's going to be a star for years to come, but commits the foul. Perry will go to the line for two. Double bonus again for Lyon with a minute 58 to play. First is good. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams Experience Realty. Call 601-1793. Sixteen made free throws tonight for Travis Perry. What a night for Travis. 84-63, Lyon County, minute 55 to play. Johnson feeds it into White, goes against Jackson's shoulders, lays it up, missed it. Rebound, Whalen right side, and he is fouled. That's on Kamarion Smith. Sixteen made free throws by Lyon County's Travis Perry. Two free throws here for Nick Whalem. Forty-two points tonight for Travis Perry. He's one away from matching his career high. Whalen's free throw here, a little off. He'll get one more. But again, Lyon leading by 21. Big stars shining, big moments, and Travis Perry. Sure as heck did tonight. Whittle unfortunately missed them both. Rebound to Hoptown. Johnson into front court. Bounce feed back side. Three on the way is short for Mercer. Or level that is. Rebound Brady's shoulders as it knocked away. Out of bounds off Hoptown. Minute 40 left now. Wrap around feed Perry and he's fouled immediately. That's going to be called on to Brian Johnson. Perry will keep earning them at the line. Travis Perry tonight, 16 for 17 at the free throw line. Trying to go 17 for 18, and he does. That ties a career high, 43 points for Travis Perry tonight, going for a new record right here with this free throw. And what a better way to do it in the region championship. And you bet he got it. There's 44 for Travis Perry. And it puts the lead to 23, 86-63, a minute 38 to play. Pull up three for Williams off the glass, bouncing in. Inbound to Perry, slips and falls. Ball slips, comes to Hoptown, laid up and in by Williams. But again, it's an 18-point Lyon County lead. And there's a foul on Olajuwon White. And that's an intentional foul, yeah. He knew what he did. His third of the night. Brady shows to the line for two after the 5-0 run by Hoptown. So it'll be two free throws in the ball for Lyon County. First is good for Brady. Brought to you by Melissa Wynn of Cutter Williams Experience Realty. Call 601-1793. Missed the second, but will not matter. We'll get the ball back. 87-68 line up in the length of the floor. Travis Perry trying to wipe up a cut. And here come the subs. Luke Gilbert, Lucas Breedlove, Corey Sissel, Warren Parker, Zach Radovonik. 
will come in to replace the starting five of Nick Whalen, Travis Perry, Jack Reddick, Grady Shoulders, Jackson Shoulders, Gunner Bingham as well in there. And what a night for these Lions that they will never, ever forget. Lion leading by 19 with a minute 18 to play. Hoptown will bring in some subs as well. Going Jabarion Northington. Xavier Dolan will come in. Brian Johnson will stay in, as will Antonio Williams. As he's passed a career high. Inbound will come to somebody. Five-second count. Lion turns it over. Breedlove couldn't get it in. And Hoptown will inbound it with a minute 18 to play. Got to finish here. Inbound left corner. Double team comes on. Manning lays it up. Missed it. Rebound. Corey Sissel had it. Lost it. Saved out to a three in the corner for Hoptown. That's short. Rebound. Tipped out. Controlled by Hoptown's to Brian Johnson. As he'll drive to the top of the key with Sissel on him. Kick it right corner. Another three on the way. That one is no good. Rebound again. Blocked by Gilbert. Put up and no good. Rebound. Finally, Luke Gilbert brings it down and throws it away. Trying to save it to Zach Radovanek with 54 seconds left. Lion again leading 87 to 68. Inbound will come to Hoptown. It'll be DeBrian Johnson at the top of the key. Kick it to Manning, back to Johnson. With 45 seconds, he'll put up a three, and he missed it. Rebound tipped and controlled by Hoptown. Put up and a blocking foul called on Lyon County. Luke Gilbert. 41 ticks on the clock. 87-68, Lyon County with the lead. Free throw here is good for Antonio Williams, who has stayed in. Nearing 30 points of the night for Antonio Missed the second. Rebound, Warren Parker. Parker will get it ahead to Radovonic with 40 seconds left. He'll slow it across the timeline. You know, many have said, as the ball is knocked away, media members, players, coaches, and fans alike, that outside of the Golden Triangle of Louisville and Lexington, that the toughest place to win a region is in Region 2. Region 2 boys basketball, and I truly believe it here tonight. And all year long and all season long, it took the best effort every night for Lyon County to find a way to get the victory. And 23 times against region competition, they have done it this year. As the free throw is no good here for DeBrian Johnson off a foul from Zach Radovonic. And he'll get one more with 30 seconds left as Gunnar Bingham will check back in. Johnson, his second free throw here with 30 seconds left is up and no good and the rebound to Gunnar Bingham however a jungle it may be you have to dispatch Tigers you have to dispatch Colonels you have to dispatch Maroons and Blazers those have been the dominant trend for so many years for that matter District 8 never lost a region championship between 2002 and 2018 the only ones to win either in this century alone madisonville if it wasn't madisonville it was hoptown it was christian county or uha henderson county not far behind in their final four run in 99 when you talk about the big five you know who you're talking about here in region two but this year there's a new king of the jungle that is region two basketball and they are clad in royal purple and gold and will sit high atop the mountain and wave that banner proudly over Eddyville, Kentucky because my friends for the first time in 71 years only the second time in school history your Kentucky High School Athletic Association boys basketball regional champions are going to be the Lions from Lyon County High School and they're going to be roaring all the way to Rupp Arena. The buzzer has sounded. The scoreboard reads Lyon County 87, Hopkinsville 69. Lyon County is 28 and 6. Hoptown's fantastic year is over at 23 and 7. And your 2022 champions are the Lyon County Lions. Some thought they may never see it again. Some wondered if we'd ever get back to this finals again. It had been 31 years. But the Lions, after four consecutive heartbreaks that spanned literally six decades, 
Heartbreak no more, my friends. Raise them high, raise them proud from Catawba, Eddieville, Swanee, Lamasco, everywhere in between because the boys are bringing home the big hardware and will be heading to play in the UK Healthcare Boys Sweet 16 on Thursday afternoon. Two weeks, Thursday, March the 17th at 1230 Central, 130 Eastern against the Region 5 champion, which at this time is expected to be the John Harden Bulldogs, and you can bet you by golly wow, as long as the good Lord gives me air in my lungs, I will be there as long as the ride continues through Rep Arena because we are going to the one and only true Sweet 16. Only 16 teams remain, and for the first time in seven decades in a year, Lyon County is one of them. Folks, I'm going to need a moment. So we're going to have the covers of Paducah Post Game Show, but I'm just going to go to a break, and Andy, I'll tell you how long I'll need, buddy. But don't go anywhere. It's going to be fun. Aaron Clayton saying I love you. See you in a moment from Hop Town. Why is Culver such a treat for so many families? Here's a hint. This treat is thick and creamy, and everyone can get it any way they like. Our fresh frozen custard. We craft it in small batches throughout the day to make our guests stay. Shakes, cones, sundaes, concrete mixers, flavor of the day. Oh, and the toppings. Who says you can't please everyone? There's more than one way to dessert at Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. Visit Culver's at 5450 Old Highway 60 in Paducah. Here's a message from Keller Williams Experience Realtor, Kardik Patel. Hi, my name is Kardik Patel, and I'm your Western Kentucky real estate specialist. I've called Western Kentucky home for 32 years, and there's nowhere else I'd rather be. I know that buyers in this area aren't just looking to buy a house. You're looking for a place that feels like home, and I'm ready to help you find just that. I'll be with you every step of the way, from the day the search begins until the day you close on your new home. And if you're selling a home, let me put my extensive marketing experience to work for you, delivering results you can count on. Whether you're buying or selling, the process can be overwhelming, and I'm here to help alleviate that stress. I guarantee full disclosure throughout and promise a no-pressure approach that's centered around your needs. Bottom line, you are my priority. You deserve the best. I look forward to working with you. Call Kardik Patel at 270-625-0519, your Keller Williams experienced realtor. I'm Alex Sutton with Farmers Bank and Trust Company of Eddyville. I know buying a home can be stressful, and I'm sure you have many questions. What is a good rate? What type of loan is right for me? Well, I'm here to walk you through the process. Whether you're refinancing or buying a new home, Farmers Bank has the options for you. With interest rates near all-time lows, now is the time to apply. So give me a call at 270-388-2724, or you can always apply online at yournxtbank.com. Farmers Bank and Trust Company, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Cellular Connection Next Gen Wireless in Eddyville is your locally owned and authorized Verizon Wireless store. Unlimited 5G phone, text, and data coverage at just the right price for you and your family. The staff at TCC Next Gen Wireless in Eddyville has the patience and knowledge to answer all of your technology questions. For the latest phones, tablets, equipment, accessories, and more, it's the Cellular Connection. TCC Next Gen Wireless in Eddyville. Call 27 270-963-8246. At YTG Insurance in Marion, they take great pride in their agency, the community, and clients. As an independent agent, YTG offers choice, provides a high level of service, and is local to the community. From home and auto to life and health coverages, YTG Insurance provides quality service for all of your insurance needs. Do you have a farm or business? They can insure that too. YTG Insurance represents multiple insurance carriers, provides many types of coverages, offers affordable prices, and more. Call Tanner Tabor at YTG Insurance at 270-965-3133 or stop by West Gump Street in Marion. Lyon County Basketball on WCCK as the Lions are your Region 2 champions. We'll be back with post-game show action with Aaron Clayton coming up. WCCK. If you need legal assistance anywhere in Western Kentucky, give the Law Office of Brandon Noth a call today at 270-388-6060. Open Monday through Friday from 830 to 4. They're located on Commerce Street across from the courthouse in Edible. Good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions basketball teams this season from Attorney Brandon Noth in Edible. That's Attorney Brandon Noth. Call 270-388-6060. 
Lyon County 3rd District Magistrate Jeff Fowler is proud to support Lyon County basketball and wishes the Lions and Lady Lions good luck in the tournament. The whole county is cheering for you. Let's bring home the trophy. Good luck to all the players and coaches Perry and Cotham. This message brought to you by District 3 Magistrate Jeff Fowler. For all your gift needs, stop by All-American Naturals in Princeton. Owned by Rob Day, All-American Naturals has all-natural and hemp-based products, soaps, lip balms, and much more. Flavors range from Dreamsicle, Cotton Candy, Island Vibe, Peppermint, and a whole lot more. Go to their website, allamericannaturals.com, or call 270-963-1853 for All-American Naturals in Princeton. Lyon County is a great place to live, and Lyon County is also a great place to learn. The Lyon County School District strives for student achievement as the primary mission, and every employee is devoted to ensuring the enhancing of student learning. The Lyon County School District is proud of each and every one of the students in the school system from preschool to high school. And the Lyon County School District wants to wish every sports team good luck this year and let them know in Lyon County we're cheering for you year after year. Good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions basketball teams from Lyon County Sheriff Brent White. Sheriff Brent White has announced his re-election campaign and hopes that you'll support him with your vote. Again, good luck to the teams from Lyon County Sheriff Brent White and all of the deputies with the Lyon County Sheriff's Department. Lyon County Sheriff Brent White, trusted experience for you. Paid for by friends of Brent White. Save big each week at the Food Giant in Eddyville. Sign up to receive the weekly ad and they'll email it to you. Go to their Facebook page, Eddyville Food Giant, and sign up for their mailing list. And while you're there, save even more by downloading the weekly coupons. By signing up, you'll also receive some special offers and be updated on some new products from time to time. Go to their Facebook page, Eddyville Food Giant, and sign up for the mailing list today. Employee owners, serving you better. Food Giant in Eddyville. Lion County Basketball on WCCK. It's the post-game show brought to you by Culver's of Paducah. Whether it's before or after the game, visit Culver's of Paducah for a sweet treat from frozen custard sundae, shakes and concrete mixers, to fresh, never-frozen butter burgers with your choice of a great side from crinkle-cut fries, cheese curds, onion rings, and more. That's your locally owned Culver's at 5450 Old Highway 60 in Paducah. Open daily from 10 to 10. Welcome to Delicious. Welcome back into the Culver's of Paducah post-game show. And I'll give you the names of the all-tournament team. That's not the all-region, but the tournament team. Breland Morris of Christian County. Preston Morganson of Crittenden County. Gerard Thomas of Henderson County. Caleb Knipe of Union County. Deshaun Mercer of Hopkinsville. J.B. On Eves of Caldwell. Uh, I apologize, of Hopkins Central. Ashton Gaines. He is from Madisonville. Wesley Morris. Also, Antonio Williams here of Hoptown, Kale Gaither, and J. Breon Spikes, player of the year from Lyon County alone. Jackson Shoulders, Jack Reddick, Brady Shoulders, and Travis Perry, and both coach Daniel Kukahiko from Caldwell County, and Ryan Perry from Lyon County named coach of the year. J. Breon Spikes named player of the year. We will take a three-minute break, come back, and we will have the postgame stats after the Lions are the champion for the win of 87 to 69 over Hopkinsville from Tiger Kim Marin Clayton back in three minutes on WCCK. If you're in the market for a new or used vehicle, why don't you give Trice a try before you buy? Go see or call Tommy Harrison at Trice Hughes. They have a large selection of Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep vehicles. And if you're a GM man or woman, check out the new pickups and SUVs. Their impressive collection is located at the dealership at 111 Highway 91 North, waiting for you to test drive. To learn more, talk to Tommy Harrison by calling 625-8758 or 3- 365-5522. Real estate professional Melissa Wynn with Keller Williams Experience Realty is proud to bring you coverage of the Lions and Lady Lions. Keller Williams Experience Realty is opening a new office located at 680 Highway 62 East in Eddyville. Whether you're buying or selling, you want someone who will work on your time schedule. That realtor is Melissa Wynn, now with Keller Williams Experience Realty in Eddyville. Call her anytime at 270-601-1793. 
and Melissa Wynn of Keller Williams wants to wish the Lions and Lady Lions good luck. Dr. John Sims and the entire staff are proud to bring you Lyon County Basketball. Dr. John Sims, Carolyn, and everyone from Dr. Sims Dental Office in Eddyville would like to thank all of their loyal customers and friends for their patronage and support throughout the years. Dr. Sims knows the hard work that the Lions and Lady Lions cheerleaders, coaches, and staff have put into making this a successful season and wish you all good luck. That's Dr. John Sims Dental Office. For an appointment, call 388-9712. Another congratulations and good luck message to the Lions and Lady Lions from Chad Kemper Logging in Dykesburg. What a terrific accomplishment for Lion County. They'll all be wearing their purple and gold this week to support you. For a quote, you can reach Chad Kemper Logging by calling 270-293-0469. Chad Kemper has been serving the Lakes area for over 10 years. Be sure to check out their YouTube page, Poor Boys Logging. And again, congratulations to the Lions and Lady Lions, and best of luck from Chad Kemper Logging in Dykesburg. A big congratulations to the Lions and Lady Lions from Provide Heating and Air. And saluting coaches Perry and Cottom and the teams in providing quality HVAC service for residential and small commercial. Provide heating and air. Call 270-559-6698 for service and installation. Licensed and insured and customer satisfaction guaranteed. Looking good, Lions, from the folks who know a little bit about looking good. South Magnolia Hair Company. They want to wish the Lions good luck in postseason play. South Magnolia Hair Company, a locally owned hair salon. Located in Eddyville on West Fairview, just across from Ackridge Farm Supply. Call today to make an appointment. 270-388-5510. Keep it up, Lions, and good luck from everyone at South Magnolia Hair Company. Ryan County Basketball is on WCCK. Time now for the post-game stats. Brought to you by Hendrickson Wealth and Retirement at 105 West 5th Street in Benton. No two of us are exactly alike. That's why you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on the details that make your life your own. Your family, the challenges you face, the dreams that inspire you. Whatever your goals, you need an advisor who can create a plan uniquely tailored to you. All backed by the sophisticated resources of Raymond James. That's life well planned. To learn more, call financial advisors Rich and Casey Hendrickson at 270-906-2139. Raymond James Financial Services Incorporated. Member FINRA and SIPC. Aaron Clayton, thank you. are on the Converse of Paducah Post Game Show. Oh, and oh, what a happy day. What a happy day. One of the best hugs I've gotten in a long time from Travis Perry and Brady Shoulders, they came over here after the region championship trophy presentation. As great as this team is, talent-wise, from top to bottom, they could have earned that title on that merit alone and then some. They are so much better. Young men, students, and upstanding citizens that love and care like you would never believe uh, that you'll ever, ever truly know. I mean, it was truly an amazing, amazing blessing. To be able to call their games for all these years, all of the players, boys and girls, I've called for the last 11 seasons to be able to accomplish this goal here tonight and be region champions, 87-69, to 69, is unbelievable. I'm going to get to the postgame stats the best I can, as quick as I can, so we can continue to celebrate. Good to see Chuck Green. Lion led at the end of every quarter, 23-22 at the end of one, 47-41 at half, 62-54 at the end of three, win 87-69, 44 points, a new career high, and 18 for 19 at the line was Travis Perry, 15-12 and 12 for Jackson Shoulders, 14 points for Jack Reddick, 10 for Brady Shoulders, 4 for Nick Whalen, 21 for 29 at the line, Hoptown, 25 points from Antonio Williams, 17 from Kamarion Smith, also 11 from Isaiah Manning, 4 11 from KC Cabinets, 4 from Isaiah Manning, 3 from Brian Johnson, 4 from Bubba Level, and 2 from Elijah Wanlai. They were 4 for 11 at the line. Lime won the rebounding battle by 2. Won the turnover margin by 10. Forced a total of 15 steals. Brought to you by Rob Dead, All-American Naturals in Princeton. Call him up, 963-1853. Not now. He's celebrating. they got natural soap, slip bombs, holiday gifts. Check out allamericannaturals.com. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 threes on the night. Brought to you by YTG Insurance, independent and community agent, offering home, auto, life, and health coverage for personal business and even farms. Call Yarbrough, Tabor, and Goodman at 965-3133. We will 
come back and have the Farmers Bank and Trust players of the games and do all we can here momentarily. Good to see Mr. Zach Thomas. We're going to take a quick break right here, and we're going to come back. So, Andy, just keep it in break, and I'm going to try to grab some players and coaches, and I'll tell you when to come back. Thanks, brother. We'll be back in just a moment on the WCCK. The Lyon County Athletic Department is proud to bring you coverage of Lyon County basketball on WCCK. Lyon County has a strong tradition of sports accomplishments from basketball, baseball, and softball, cheerleading, fishing, soccer, golf, tennis, and track and field. The Lyon County Athletic Department is proud of all the athletes who represent this school in a very strong fashion. Thanks again from the Lyon County Athletic Department, bringing you coverage of Lyon County basketball on WCCK Sports. And don't forget to like them on Facebook at Lyon County Athletics. McConnell's Health Mart Pharmacy in Katawa wants to wish the Lions and Lady Lions good luck this year. They are proud to be a sponsor of Lyon County Basketball. Wayne Rice and staff are available Monday and Friday from 9 to 6 and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 9 to 5. For all your pharmacy needs and medical supplies, stop by or call 270-388-7371. That's McConnell's Health Mart Pharmacy, taking the time to listen and care. Fredonia Valley Bank is a bank that still reflects the feel of an old-fashioned bank in a modern world. A bank where you can count on customers being greeted with a handshake and a friendly smile from their local employees. Because Fredonia Valley Bank is locally owned, it sets them apart from all the rest. Why? Because at Fredonia Valley Bank, they are your neighbors, and neighbors help neighbors. Stop by or call them today at their two locations in Fredonia and Eddyville. Member FDIC, an equal opportunity lender. B.W. Aiken Electrical Heating and Cooling. Located in Dawson Springs, B.W. Aiken serves all of the surrounding counties. Looking for a whole home generator? B.W. Aiken installs and services those. They also offer maintenance plans on your HVAC systems. Locally owned and operated since 1972, B.W. Aiken offers complete sales, service, and installation of HVAC systems as well as generators, residential and commercial. Call Chris Hawk, 270-797-2193. For more than 25 years, Herring Construction has been a leading provider of excavation and earth moving and reshaping services. They want to wish the Lions and Lady Lions good luck in the tournament. Located in Lyon County, Janet and Mike Herring and all the staff at Herring Construction want to congratulate the teams and coaches. That's Herring Construction at 270-388-2657. The Lions are roaring hard as they're moving on through the tournament. Congratulations on a job well done. Bobby Cummins, 1st District Magistrate of Lyon County, is wishing you all the best. It's taken a lot of work, patience, and diligence to get this far, and you deserve the win. Keep showing everyone what Lions are made of. This word of encouragement has been brought to you by Bobby Cummins, 1st District Magistrate of Lyon County, proud supporter of Lyon County's youth. Dr. Dominique Rivera, Jay Lynn, and everyone at Lion Family Dental in Eddyville say good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions. Lion Family Dental is excited to offer clear aligners for adults. Regain your confidence with straighter teeth and an ideal smile in less time and with fewer in-office visits than traditional metal braces. Call the office today at 270-601-4122 to schedule your consultation. Consultation. Katawa Clinic is proud of the youth of Lyon County and encourages them to always be mindful of their health. Katawa Clinic recommends regular physicals, eating right, and daily exercise to live a healthy, long life. Dr. Wilder, Elizabeth Skinner, and staff wishes good luck to the Lions and Lady Lions. Katawa Clinic hopes you have a great year. Remember to do your warm-up exercises before each game. Katawa Clinic, 91 Cedar Street, Katawa, 270-388-73. Lion County Basketball on WCCK. It's the post-game show brought to you by Culver's of Paducah. Whether it's before or after the game, visit Culver's of Paducah for a sweet treat from frozen custard sundae, shakes and concrete mixer, to fresh, never-frozen butter burgers with your choice of a great side from crinkle-cut fries, cheese curds, onion rings, and more. That's your locally owned Culver's at 5450 Old Highway 60 in Paducah. Open daily from 10 to 10. Welcome to Delicious. Andy, if you can text me, let me know. Make sure we're on the air. We're out here on the floor now with Coach Ryan Perry. And Coach Murray. 
First off, congratulations. The moment I, I don't know when it will sink, and it may not sink until we go to Rupp, but congratulations. You are the Region 2 boys basketball champions. Yes, um, I'm, I'm still not sure it's sinking. I keep telling myself that people keep saying, "Hey, we're going," but it doesn't. It doesn't seem real. You know, I'm I'm so proud of these guys. Um, hats off to Hopkinsville coach Bab. Coaches those guys up good. They got a team full of athletes, and man, they came out and hit us in the mouth right off the bat tonight. But our guys stayed the course, um, like they have all year, yeah. and they they didn't waver. They just kept you know digging in. But those guys gave us a fight tonight, and I couldn't be any more proud of uh, I couldn't be any more proud of those guys. Those 15 guys we got over. There. I want to celebrate tonight, so we're going to wrap up this post game show in a moment so we can celebrate. But you get to go to Rupp. Now it's a new challenge. Some we never faced a different college quarter to be a Region 5 champion from E Town. What are you going to do to prepare after you celebrate here for the next week and a half? Yeah, we're going to celebrate this one big for uh, for a couple days. We like the Region 5 draw that we got. We don't know who it's going to be yet, but uh, the four teams that are left, you know, we like that draw. We really do. Um, we're going to go up there and play like we played every game all year. We're not going to change anything. We're going to play just like we played all year, and we're going to hope that it's going to be good enough but you know uh, these guys are going to celebrate they you know and our, our crowd i can't i can't say enough crowd. about uh, the crowd we had tonight and the following you know just uh it was special absolutely it was as the moment now what does this mean 71 years if you can put it into words as we end here just for this community not just the kids but this whole county because i believe the whole county was here tonight yeah it's huge they deserve it you know we wanted to do it for them um, and for their parents, and we did. And uh, we're just we're excited. It's all right. I love you, man. Let's celebrate. Love you, too. Right. That's going to do it, Andy. I appreciate everybody so much today. Andy, Sherry, Cindy, Wade, Stephen, all year long, my wife, Julie, and Zach helping me out here today. Thank you so much for everybody listening here today. Again, Thursday, March 17th, high noon from Rupp Arena. We will be there. Thanks to all of our sponsors so so much and guess what we'll be calling you some more over the next week and a half but again the lions for the first time since 1951 are your region two boys basketball champions with an 87 to 69 win over the lion county over the hopkinsville tigers until we meet again i say goodbye and god bless from hoptown Basketball. Lion County Lions and Lady Lions Basketball is a production of WCCK Sports.